All right, first graders. So this week, again, we're thinking about persuading people. We're thinking about convincing other people to think the way we think. You can have opinion about anything. You could have an opinion about whether you like cats or dogs better. You could have opinion about whether you think snakes are scary or incredible. You could think about, you could have an opinion about a character in a book. Do you think that this character is nice? Do you think that this character is brave? Do you think that they're a coward? They're, they're scared of everything? You can have an opinion about so many things. And then you can write about those opinions or use your words with those opinions to convince other people to think the way you think. So today we're going to read a book. It's called <clears throat> Never Let a Unicorn Scribble. And there's going to be a lot of people that are going to try to convince the narrator of the story to never let a unicorn scribble and she's not going to agree with them so then we're going to watch and think is it a good idea to let a unicorn scribble yes or no and why we're going to think about reasons why do you think that what did you see happen in the book that made you think either, yes, it's a good idea to let a unicorn scribble, or no, it is not a good idea to let a unicorn scribble. Let's read and find out. Do, do, do. Okay. Never let a unicorn scribble. Here's what the cover looks like. Let's go back to the cover. Never Let a Unicorn Scribble, written and illustrated by Diane Alber. Why would anyone say such a thing? I mean, unicorns can run on rainbows, so why can't they scribble? I thought if I gave a unicorn just one crayon, what could go wrong? What do you think? What could go wrong? Just one crayon. Let's see. Well, I'll tell you, she ate it. That seems like it went kind of wrong. Now my favorite bright pink crayon was traveling into the belly of my unicorn. This is probably why people are saying unicorns should never scribble because they ate crayons. Pause. We just heard the first reason for why, no, you should never let a unicorn scribble because they eat crayons. Is that a pretty good reason? I think so too. Then it occurred to me, maybe unicorns don't know how to use crayons. So I gathered all my crayons and started to scribble. There she is starting to scribble. I made a blue scribble, a pink scribble, a yellow scribble, and even a crazy scribble. Now that she could see how crayons worked, I thought I'd give her another chance to scribble. I took out a teal crayon and placed it right in front of her. Let's see what happens. She ate half of it. Now we've got two reasons. We can say not only she ate the first crayon. But then another reason is we gave her another chance and she didn't eat the whole crayon, but she ate half of it. Let's see what happens next. Listen to me, unicorn. We do not eat crayons. We draw with them. But then I realized a unicorn couldn't hold a crayon like I could. Maybe that was why she was eating them. I had an idea. Maybe if I tied a few crayons to her horn, that would help her scribble. <gasps> Within seconds, glitter scribbles started shooting out like water from a fire hose. Maybe this is why they say unicorns should never scribble. Sparkling rainbow scribbles were everywhere. They were on the floor, on the ceiling, on the walls. They were even on my lamp. I've been begging my mom to redecorate my room for a while now, but I don't think this is what she had in mind. Oh boy, her mom might get mad if it, her room looks like this. Then I heard a noise down the hall. This was it. I was going to be in so much trouble. 
I popped out of my room and blocked the door before my mom could say anything. I started to explain the mess that she was about to see. Well, it all started when I heard to never let a unicorn scribble, but I had to find out why. So I gave my unicorn a crayon and then she ate it. I tried to teach her how to scribble and then she ate another crayon. So I tried, I tied the crayons to her horn and boy was that horn magical. The scribbles started shooting out like a water fountain. They were so sparkly, but it made such a mess. And I'm sorry. Uh-oh, let's see what happens next. Mom peeked around the corner and smiled. You didn't make a mess. You made a glowing masterpiece. When I turned around, all the scribbles were right on my easel, not on the ceiling, not on the walls, not on my lamp. They were all one big piece of paper. And it was the most amazing art ever. Wow. All this time, people wanted to stop unicorns from scribbling. It could be because they eat crayons or because it's so messy. But if my unicorn had never scribbled, she would have never learned how to make this masterpiece. So the next time you hear a unicorn shouldn't scribble, just remember, all great art starts with a scribble. Even unicorns have to start somewhere. Wow. The end. So what do you think? What do you think? Now we've read all about what happens when a unicorn scribbles. We found out about how sometimes they eat crayons. We found out sometimes they eat a half a crayon. We found out if you attach crayons to their horn, it shoots scribbles everywhere, but then somehow magically it's only on this one piece of paper. Hmm. Now that we know all this stuff about what happens when you let a unicorn scribble, what do you think? Do you think that it's a good idea to let a unicorn scribble or it is not a good idea to let a unicorn scribble? What I want you to do now is stop and think. Once you have an idea and you're ready to say, I think you should let a unicorn scribble or I think you should not use a unicorn scribble, you can use these sentence starters to help write a persuasive letter. I want you to write a persuasive letter to this little girl and tell her either, yeah, I agree with you or no, I do not agree with you. Let me show you the sentence starters I want you to use. Hang on while I pull it up quickly. Do, do, do. Here we go. So I want you to think, do you think you should let unicorns scribble or you should not let unicorns scribble? You're gonna use persuasive writing. It means convincing, convincing other people to think the way you think. So then you're gonna try it. You're gonna say, I think you should let unicorn scribble or you should not let unicorn scribble. Then you can say, one reason is, and tell your reason. Another reason is, tell another reason. For example, so like if I was gonna say, I do not think you should let a unicorn scribble. One reason is, and I'll say my first reason. Another reason is they eat crayons. For example, when she gave the pink crayon and the teal crayon, the unicorn ate both of them. And then I would finish it off saying, that's why I think you should not let a unicorn scribble. Try it on your own. Get your journal out and write in your journal a persuasive letter to this character, either I think you should let unicorn scribble or I do not think you should let unicorn scribble and tell us why. Make sure you give reasons. Then snap a picture and send it to your teacher. All right. I will see you tomorrow with another book that you're going to need to have an opinion about.
And you're going to have to persuade people to think the way you think.